I have to tell you, I've, I've probably done over three or four hundred weddings here at the Beach House over the 15 years that I've been here. And uh, rarely do you get a couple of people that walk through the door uh, that you instantaneously uh, get along with and um, what are the words I'm trying to search for here? People that you seem to have known them all your life, yet you've only known them for five minutes. Uh, Terry and Heather are those type of people, and it is so overwhelmingly cool to be here today, to be with you all and to be with them and to share this day. So I want to say thanks, guys, for hiring me. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, Terry and Heather, we have come here together under this great blue ceiling before this magnificent ocean, where Terry and Heather wish to pledge their hearts, which are filled with love for each other in marriage. This setting will never be duplicated anywhere in the world as it is here today. Terry and Heather, as we stand on a carpet of sand and smell the sea air, hold this vision forever in your hearts. Rejoice in this day as the world stretches out to welcome you by encircling you in the arms of the dead. May this ceremony serve as a reminder to each of you to always love and respect this person that you have chosen as your partner. You will be responsible to comfort and protect the other as the challenges of life present themselves to each of you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, Terry and Heather, I'd like to read The Art of Marriage. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you every day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. Courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all of the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is having a mutual standing together, facing the world together. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. Speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor, of which we have a, an abundance of here. I am. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. Remember that at the end of the night. <laughs> It is giving each other an atmosphere of which both of you can grow. It is finding rooms for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is never ending. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. And now the vow. Who's going? My vows. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, I have always dreamed of one day finding a love like the one we share. I am so thankful that our worlds aligned at just the right moment in our lives for us to meet each other and fall in love. You are my best friend, my rock, and I believe that our love is so strong it will and can survive through anything and everything. You have made me feel more complete, more alive, and show me the true meaning of happiness. Today I commit to you that I will love you for I will love you forever. I will celebrate with you in times of great happiness. And I will not just stand by you, but carry you during the life's greatest sorrows. No matter what life throws at us, I vow that I will never stop loving you will never stop caring for you, and will never stop trying to be your best partner that I can be. I love you, and I plan on spending the rest of my life proving it to you, and giving you IT support. <laughs> yeah, very I important. Need it. real. <laughs> See if I can remember this. You can do it, Heather, 
Four years ago, I never would imagine myself in this place. In a place where I get to look in the eyes of my best friend and commit for life. I have the words honor and respect tattooed on my arm because those words mean a lot to me and you've earned them in every way. You are the sweetest, most loving, kind, caring, beautiful soul I've ever known. And I have no doubt you make me a better person. You bring me balance and you are my rock. You've shown me un undeniable acceptance. You've believed in me. And as for as different as we are, we are so connected. I don't know if a lifetime is long enough to return to you all that you've given me, but I pledge to be by your side because making you happy makes me happy. Plus, your crazy match is my crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so with all that fooness, I say this. I commit to live my life with you for all the days to come. I ask that you join me in this world's journey for all that it may hold. I'm so proud to marry you, be my partner, and I will be yours because I fucking love you. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That was our flyover, by the way. <laughs> if you looked really closely at that plane, there was a little sign on the back that said, Terry and Heather for Oh, wow, that's a plane? Really. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, let's talk about the rings, shall we? A circle is a symbol of the sun, the earth, and the universe. It is a symbol of wholeness, perfection, peace, and love. It is worn on the third finger because of an ancient Greek belief that a vein from that finger goes directly to the heart. These rings mark the beginning of a long journey together. Wear them proudly, for they are the symbols which speak of the love that you have for each other. Speaking of those rings. <laughs> I'm going to have you place that just halfway on Terry's finger there, Heather. I'm going to have you repeat after me. We'll have Karen come up and grab some uh, pit shots of that. Repeat after me, Heather. Terry, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. Wear it and think of me. And know that I will always love you. May it be a symbol of my ever-growing love for you. Go ahead and push it down there. We'll get a little picture there. Oh, yeah. Nice. I heard that. Now, Terry, halfway on uh, Heather's finger there, we're going to get a little picture of you right there. Real nice. And please repeat after me. Heather, I give you this ring. Heather, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. Wear it and think of it. And know that I will always love you. May it be a symbol of my ever growing love for you. Go ahead. Push that right on there. Go ahead and hold it. Good job, Beth. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, Terry and Heather, my last reading. As you guys stand beside the ocean's tide, May your love always be as constant and unchanging as these never-ending waves that pour beneath our feet, flowing endlessly from the depths of the sea. Love came softly upon the sand, and just as the foam comes softly upon the sand, and just as there will never be another morning without the ocean's flow, so will there never be another day without your love for each other. Ladies and gentlemen, by the powers invested in me, in the county of Monterey and the great state of California. I now pronounce you, Terry, and you, Heather, partners in life. You may now change your status <laughs> on your Facebook, whatever else.
first time, let me introduce you to Terry and Heather Glow! <laughs>